Okay, we're going to go ahead and go over the warm-ups. I have to distribute my negative 4, and I have to distribute my negative 4, and I have to distribute my 2. So negative 5 minus 12x minus 20 equals 1. Negative 25 minus 12x equals 1. Negative 12x equals 26. X equals negative 13 over 6. Okay. You have to know how to do these guys. You have to know how to solve for X. Negative 16 plus 12x equals 8x minus 2. I'm going to move the smallest number with a letter first. So that's going to give me 4x. And when I move the 16, that's going to give me 14. So x is going to equal 7 over 2. Okay. Today, we're going to take a word problem and write a system of equation. So the first thing that I like to do, I like to identify my totals. $50 is a total, and $42 is a total. How do I know their totals? Well, I read. The school that Jose goes to is selling tickets to a concert. On the first day of ticket sales, the school sold four senior citizen tickets and two children's tickets for a total of $50. Okay, so we have our two totals, and we want to write what goes with those totals, okay? Four senior, four senior, and two children go with the $50 total, all right? Now, three senior and two child go with the $42 total. So we're just going to put those together. Four senior plus two child equals $50. Three senior plus two child equals $42. So which one of these matches what we wrote? A, B, C, or D? B. B is the correct answer. Okay. You're just separating stuff. You're finding your two totals, and then you're separating what goes with those two totals. Now, how come C is not the correct answer? Yeah. It's subtraction. When we want our total, we're not, we are not subtracting how much we got from selling senior tickets from what we got from selling children's tickets. So subtraction is wrong. Okay. Go ahead and do number two. See if you can find the answer for number two. Okay, so we find that one total is 240. They took 240 kids to the state fair, and they did that with eight vans and eight buses. Okay? School B had 54 kids. And they got 54 kids there by filling four vans and one bus. So we're looking for four vans, one bus equals 54. Four vans, one bus equals 240? No. One van, one bus equals 54? No. Minus, I know is wrong, four vans, one bus, 54. That's it. Because the other one is eight vans and eight buses is 240. Okay. Now, we're going to write an equation. So, let's find our totals. Matt and Isaiah are selling cookies for school. You can buy small boxes or large boxes. Matt sold three small boxes and five large boxes 
What's his total? What's his total cash? Forty-seven dollars. So forty-seven equals three small plus five large. Okay, now notice how I didn't put a dollar sign on the total. Don't put a dollar sign in your systems. Now Isaiah sells eleven small plus ten large. And how much money did he collect? 114. Okay? So we break out our totals and then put what it equals or put what you add together to get to your totals. Okay? I add three small plus five large to get $47. That's it. Go ahead and do number four. Okay, so we got to identify our totals. Deshaun collected $19. Okay. Freddie, who is Brian's nickname, Freddie, who is also known as Brian, collected $46. So my totals are 19 and 46 Okay. How did I get $19? Well, Deshaun got 19 by selling five clear bulbs and three white bulbs. That's how he got that number. He sold five packages of the clear plus three packages of the white. Now, Freddie Bryan sold 12 of the white and 5 of the clear. So, Freddie Bryan sold 5 clear, but he sold 12 white, and that equaled 46. That's how we do this. Now, let's look at number 5. Number 5 gets a little more complicated. You have to get your totals. Pick out your totals. So... Your math teacher tells you the next week's test is worth 100 points and contains 40 problems. Multiple choice problems are worth 4 points and true-false problems are worth 1 point. Write a system of equations used to find how many of each type of question are on the test. So, what are my totals, kids? Give me my two totals. What? 100, correct. 100 is one of my totals. What else is a total? 40. 100 is the total possible points. 40 is the total possible problems. So when I talk about 100, I talk about points. What makes up my points? It tells you here how you get those points. What makes up those points? Which one? Multiple choice. How many points are multiple choice? Yep. Four. Multiple choice problems are worth four. So 4M plus what else that makes up my points? How many are true-false problems? They're one point apiece. So I'm just going to put one T. So... 4M plus 1T equals 100 points. Do you see how when I'm talking points, I just look at what talks about points. Now, problems. I don't know how many of each type, but what... I don't know how many of each type of problem are on the test, but I know the two different types of problems on the test, don't I? What are the two different types? Multiple choice plus true-false. That equals 40 points. Uh, questions. I don't know how many of each there are, but I know that they're going to be 40. Some of them are going to be multiple choice. Some are going to be true false. So I got my totals and then I put how that total was gotten. Four times multiple choice plus one times true false is going to give you 100 points. All your multiple choice plus all your true-false is going to equal 40 questions. 
Okay, I know you may still need some help with this. If you do, please come in here or go to the uh, Pace Lab to get more help.